All right. Well, good morning. Uh, Crunchy Data is just is honored to be a sponsor uh, of this event. We're excited to get back together with friends and colleagues and uh, be able to, to gather again and look people in the eyes uh, in person. Uh, my name is Brian Pace. I'm a senior data architect at Crunchy Data. Uh, I've come to Crunchy with about 30 years of enterprise database experience, and that's where all the gray hair has come from. <laughs> and if you've been in the business long enough, and I know some of you here have been in IT a long time, we all have a story that starts out, I thought I was in death. <laughs> but anyway, who is Crunchy Data? Uh, think of Crunchy Data as the red hat of Postgres. On one hand, uh, we're a leading contributor to the Postgres uh, code, uh, contributing about a third of that code ongoing. Uh, but on the other hand, we have a business model that's uh, very, like, very much like Red Hat in that it's a support subscription uh, accompanied by some consulting services. And in addition to uh, being active in the Postgres community, we also author and maintain some core elements uh, in the community like PostGIS and PG Backrest. So our Red Hat partnership, we're very proud of that. Uh, always honored to present with our Red Hat uh, uh, friends. Uh, that partnership goes way back. It starts when our uh, crunchy operator that we're going to look at today was one of the first three operators of any kind to go through the Red Hat certification. So we're very proud of that. Uh, today we're even the uh, preferred uh, Postgres provider behind uh, flagship apps like uh, Ansible Automation Platform and Quay. So if you want to run those products with an HA Postgres, Red Hat says go talk to our friends at Crunchy Data and we're happy to do that. So let's talk about the operator. The operator enables database as a service. What do I mean by that? Well, we manage that database in an automated fashion from cradle to grave. From provisioning it, backup, auto healing, um, you name it, it's, it's completely automated. And we enable that in a very user-friendly method and that's where the database modernization comes into play. Uh, we allow you to present a manifest to the operator uh, that describes your Postgres environment. And then the operator will make sure that your described environment and your actual environment are always the same and you don't have to worry about it. So it's, it's truly hitting the easy button. So this is where our director of sales gets real nervous. Uh, David Bagley is with us today, so please stop by and say hey, along with one of my peers, Karen. Uh, so this is where he gets real nervous because I said, what do I want to do in 10 minutes to add the most value? There's something you could take away, and as we go to coffee break, you could, you could even do it at coffee break. And going through slides wasn't the answer. So I'm going to need your help, okay? There, there, here's a QR code. So if you have your phone, hit this QR code. You're going to get an application error because we haven't deployed anything yet, but get it ready. And then what we're going to do is in our brief time here that we have remaining, we're going to deploy the operator. We'll deploy a production ready, highly available Postgres cluster. We're going to use an open source uh, uh, component called Postgres with a T that's going to provide us a REST API. That's where this you are, this uh, QR code is going to take you to. We're going to create a database schema, some objects, populate it with some data, and then we'll, you'll be our, uh, recruited as our user testing community. Okay. So, David, are you okay? You're still good. All right, here we go. Deploy the operator. So I'm in the uh, operator hub. Uh, you all are familiar with this view. Uh, search for Crunchy. I'm going to click on the Crunchy Certified and install and now we are deploying the our operator which only takes about uh, 30 seconds or so but simple all right task one we're, we're done okay now now we need that postgres database so here's that declarative uh, manifest that i told you about just an example of it so let's deploy our database Very simple. So I've just described what I want it to look like. I've applied a customized manifest here because as my, uh, uh, one of my uh, directors when I was at Citibank said, nobody just needs a database, right? So we're deploying a database. We're deploying 
the Postgres T uh, uh, REST API level. And you can just take a look at this. You'll notice some things in here that are pretty interesting. Uh, number one, we told it that we want backups and that our backup schedule, we went and told our operator that we want a full backup every Sunday. We want nightly incrementals uh, throughout the rest of the week and gave you some other information about monitoring, about specs that we want to limit resources, what version of Postgres we wanted. But you'll also notice that we have a database initialization script here that's going to take a default script that's going to deploy our tables, our objects, and preload it with some data. Okay? The other thing that we did, and this is pretty cool, here is the configuration for Postgres, that, that REST API. And you'll notice that I am passing the data needed by that application on how to connect to the database, right? It's URI, uh, host, port, username, password, directly from a secret that's maintained by our operator. So gone are the days of the DBA getting the password, emailing it to another person, who emails it to another person, who emails it to another person who finally keys it into an application config somewhere. So all seamless. So let's see, let's see how we're doing. If we go back and work at our, look at our workload. So everything is up. You see our pods are configured. We've got one primary, one uh, replica. We've got our initial backup that's already completed. Postgres is up and running. So now, if we go back to our slide, you've got two, URs, or two QR codes now. The one on the right is the agenda of this event. So if you now hit that URI, uh, you will see the event come back to you in JSON. If you hit the QR code on the left, that is going to hit a feedback table, which right now is empty, so let's fix that. Let's populate it with some data. There we all be the first to post in there. So now there's data uh, in that table as well. If you get bored at coffee break, there's a curl command. You can do a post. I'm going to leave this, uh, this up and running. So I've got just a couple of minutes left. So let's do this. Everybody got a picture of this that needs to get a picture of that? All right, let's, uh, let's stress test it. Get your fingers on the reset button. This is a picture of our monitoring stack that we deploy. Uh, called PG Monitor. So if you've got your browsers up, just keep hitting refresh on that one of those eight, one of those endpoints. Let's see if we can push some load. How good of load testers are you? Okay, so far you need coffee because the charts aren't moving much at all. <laughs> but anyway, we're happy that uh, to be a sponsor, and uh, we hope that you will stop by uh, our table. Uh, say hello, and if you want to get started with the operator, go to the operator hub, go to this uh, Git repo, download the examples, and we look forward to meeting you. Come by, stop, and say hello. Get some cookies, or I think you call them biscuits. Uh, yeah, you, don't, don't order biscuits with gravy here. People think you're crazy. That's just the American thing. Anyway, thank you so much. We look forward to getting to know you and talking to you throughout the rest of the day. Enjoy the event, and stay safe.